Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find an unknown or missing side length of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. And we're going to be working with decimal side lengths. We will start with an example where we need to find the length of the hypotenuse. And then we will move on to an example where we need to find the length of a missing leg. Now remember, we use the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, with a and b being the legs, it doesn't matter which leg is a and which leg is b, and then c is always the hypotenuse. If we know the lengths of two sides of a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the third side. Let's jump into our example where we have a right triangle and the lengths of the legs are given. So we need to find the length of the hypotenuse. Let's call this leg A and this leg B. And then the hypotenuse is always C. So we are going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now we can plug in what we are given and work through this equation in order to figure out the length of the hypotenuse. A is six and seven tenths feet, so let's plug that in. So six and seven tenths squared, plus B is 15 and two tenths feet, so let's plug that in. So 15 and two tenths squared, equals c squared. Now we just continue to work through that equation until we figure out what c equals. 6 and 7 tenths squared gives us 44 and 89 hundredths plus 15 and 2 tenths squared gives us 231 and 4 hundredths equals c squared. Now we can add what's on the left side of the equation. So 44 and 89 hundredths plus 231 and 4 hundredths. That gives us 275 and 93 hundredths equals c squared. Now we need to isolate c and figure out what c equals. Since c is being squared, we can isolate c by taking the square root of c squared. So the square root of c squared. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So we need the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths as well. c is now isolated, so we have c equals, and then as far as the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths, that is not a perfect square. So we don't end up with a whole number answer. So C equals the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths. Now we can write that square root as an approximate rounded decimal. The square root of 275 and 93 hundredths is irrational. The decimal never stops and it doesn't repeat. So again, let's round it. Since the side lengths of the right triangle go to the tenths place, let's round this decimal to the tenths place. So the square root of 275 and 93 hundredths is 16.61 and this continues on. So I wrote it to the hundredths place, that way we can round it to the tenths place. There's a six in the tenths place with a one to the right in the hundredths. So this rounds to, or is approximately, 16 and six tenths. So that means that C, and I will put C first here, so C is approximately 16 and six tenths, and this is feet. The hypotenuse, the unknown or missing side length of this right triangle is approximately 16 
and six tenths feet. So there is our first example where we needed to find the length of the hypotenuse. Let's move on to our second example where we will find the length of the missing leg. Let's jump into our example where one of the legs is given, that's eight and three tenths meters, and then the hypotenuse is given, that's 12 and six tenths meters. We need to find the length of the missing or unknown leg. Let's make this leg A, this leg B, and the hypotenuse is C. So we use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now we can plug in what we are given in order to find the length of that missing leg. So let's plug in eight and three tenths meters for A. So eight and three tenths squared plus B squared. Well, B is the missing leg, the unknown leg. So keep that as B squared equals C squared. So C is the hypotenuse. That's 12 and six tenths meters. So plug that in and that is squared. Now let's work through this equation in order to find out what B equals. Eight and three tenths squared gives us 68 and 89 hundredths plus B squared equals 12 and six tenths squared gives us 158 and 76 hundredths. Our next step is to subtract 68 and 89 hundredths from the left side of the equation. And whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So subtract 68 and 89 hundredths from the right side as well. These cancel out on the left side of the equation, so we are left with b squared equals, and then 158 and 76 hundredths minus 68 and 89 hundredths gives us 89 and 87 hundredths. So now we have b squared equals 89 and 87 hundredths. We need to isolate b now. We need to figure out what b equals. Since b is being squared, we can take the square root in order to isolate b. So let's take the square root of b squared. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So take the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths. b is now isolated, so we have b equals, and then as far as the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths, that's not a perfect square. So we do not end up with a whole number answer. So B equals the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths. Now we can write this square root as an approximate rounded decimal. The square root of 89 and 87 hundredths is irrational. The decimal never stops and it doesn't repeat. So again, let's round it. Now, since the other side lengths of this triangle go to the tenths place, let's round it to the tenths place. So the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths gives us 9.47. And again, this continues on. So I'm going to write it to the hundredths place. That way we can round it to the tenths place. So we have a four in the tenths with a seven to the right in the hundredths. So this rounds up. This is approximately nine and five tenths. So B is approximately nine and five tenths, and this is meters. So the missing side length, the missing leg, is approximately nine and five tenths meters.
So there you have it. There's how to find an unknown or missing side length of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. And specifically, we took a look at right triangles with decimal side lengths. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.